In this video, we're going to be creating our chest class. Well, we're going to be making a storage container base class initially that we're going to potentially expand on. We may end up just using that. Uh, it's not much to really say. We can go ahead and jump right into it. If you check the description, you will see a download to a RAR file that contains this folder here, which holds the model, materials, physics asset, and opening and closing animations along with the textures for our chest. So if you go to your uh, project folder, go to content, uh, put it anywhere you really want. I'm putting mine in Miss Message, yeah, MISC meshes, just for sake of this, because that's where everything else I put is. Then if you open your project, you should see everything set up just like so. So you have the opening closing animations, the physics asset, the mesh, and all the textures you need along with materials. So this is our skeletal mesh right now. Just very basic, nothing too much. And that's is essentially what we're going to be kind of, this is just going to be our base container. So we can actually go ahead and start creating our class. So if we go to our C++ classes, make a new class. This one is going to be an actor. And let's call it storage container. Uh, yeah, let's just, nah, let's, yeah, we'll leave it a storage, con storage container. Then go ahead and create the class. Here it is. Now a couple things we can go ahead and stop. We can go ahead and get rid of our tick function. And set it so it's not enabled. Now a couple things that this is going to need. It's obviously going to need a skeletal mesh component. So let's make a new private se or protected section. Make it a U property edit anywhere class u skeletal mesh component call it mesh comp and let's create that in our constructor so mesh comp equals create default sub object u skeletal mesh component skeletal mesh component and let's include it so include components skeletal mesh component. Control shift B to build. Alright, let's go ahead and make a blueprint class off of it. Put it in blueprint classes. Now here we simply select our storage box. Woo. Right, compile and save. And now if we drag it into the world, everything should be fine and dandy with no collisions. That should have collision. set it to block all. Alright, yep, there we go. Alright, so just collision preset. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any reason to use any other setting, so we're just going to leave it as block all. And we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and we need to add our inventory component to it. So, let's be class you inventory component inventory
no, I just called it inventory, not inventory component. Although I should have put inventory component. And same thing here. And include it. Now this is going to, not the inventory, uh, we do need to set this to replicate I believe. So in the constructor, B replicates, set it to true. Uh, we need to make a public function to get our inventory component. So class U inventory get inventory component. and we're just going to make it return inventory. Let's go ahead and build, make sure we didn't type anything wrong. Alrighty, we're good to go. And now in our, let's see, go ahead and close our pickups. And our survival character. Let's go down to where we actually have our array trace, or our line trace. Let's include our storage container first. Alright, interact. We do else if a storage container container equals cast a storage dang it keep doing it again from actor All right, so if that's the case then we do the exact same thing actually So let's do, do, do. Yeah, we can just copy it actually. We do container get inventory component. And we're just going to print this out to a log. So you inventory container inventory set that equal to the component and then we'll just grab the first element so if a pickups first uh, item set that equal to container inventory get no I'm doing this the wrong way here all right so we get the inventory component then we can get the slot so you I mean not the slot the first item first item equals container inventory What's it called? Get inventory items. Actually, we can loop through these, make it a little bit better. So T, array, A pickups, container items. I'm ready to do four loops, so four A pickups pick up and container items uh, item and 
and print out the name. Let's print out one more log. And just say end of container items. And build it. So right now I don't really have much of a way of adding anything to it other than adding it for my own inventory for testing but let's make sure it actually runs when we press E on the container it should say end of inventory items in the log at the bottom yep end of container items so we know we're accessing it and everything and we are in fact getting the component and all that just fine so I guess in the next video I will cover We'll start adding items to the actual, um, to the container itself. And then, I don't know if in that video I'll end up trying to make it work with the UI we created, or if that'll be in a separate one, but either way, I'll just see you then.